Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a foundation first impression. And this time it's going to be on the new Essence foundation. So I just got this at Ulta yesterday. This is the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. Um, so we're going to test this out and see how this works for us. I will talk about like the claims and all that. But before we move on to that, don't forget to subscribe down below. That way you don't miss out on future videos. And let's go ahead and get started on this first impression. Okay. So here is the foundation. So this says, um, let's see, long lasting foundation, silky light, lightweight texture with a smooth matte finish, meaning to high coverage for up to 16 hours, um, with aloe vera, waterproof, shape well before use. Okay. So it's waterproof supposedly. I have two shades. I have light, medium, and I have buff, but I swatched them yesterday and I think I'm going to be buff. The light, medium looked a little bit too light. So I'm going to try buff and we will go from there. So it is supposed to be a matte finish, which not my favorite nowadays but we will see how it looks if it looks like super drying um and i already prepped my skin with moisturizer i have not primed though so let me do that really quick i'm just going to use the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer this is kind of like the elf putty primer um kind of that same tone and consistency no. okay so again this is the color 110 buff i'm gonna pump some out here into my hand i'm gonna do two pumps so this is what it looks like so it is pretty thick as you can see, because it's not running or anything. Um, let's see how this looks. Okay, I'm going to blend this out with the brush. Ooh, blending out really nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the skin. So this is before... And this is after so as you can see it covered really well um it's not full coverage for sure you can still see some of my dark spots right here um but definitely a good medium coverage which is what it claims it says medium to full coverage so i'm just gonna get a little bit more and put it right here because it says it is buildable just kind of in the spots that are um more visible on my skin like my acne marks and all that and we're gonna see if this covers it Okay, that's covering it really well. Okay, that pretty much covered it really well. Definitely buildable. I'm not seeing it looking cakey or anything. So let's do the other side. Again, I'm just putting a little bit more where I need more coverage. Honestly, I would usually just be fine with that regular medium coverage. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going over the spots that need more to see how it builds up. Okay, so this is it, you guys. Oh my god, the foundation on my lips bothers me. So this is it. This is how the foundation is looking. Definitely matte. Um... It doesn't look drying or anything, but it's definitely more matte than the foundations I've used. I feel like it's even more matte than the NYX Blur Tint Foundation that I recently used and really, really like. Um, that one's like a velvety matte finish, and this one is just a lot more matte, but it doesn't. It still doesn't look drying. Like it still looks okay. Um, this color is definitely working for me, so I'm gonna return light medium. But so this one's buff again, if you're interested. Um, but it does look good. It's not emphasizing any texture or anything. It covered really well for sure medium coverage and it looks good if you have oily skin i think you're really gonna like it i'm more i, I always forget to mention but i'm more normal normal skin with like dry patches on my like acne area so if i have like active acne i tend to get some dry patches um but for the most part normal skin so yeah that's how it looks one more time I really like it and I like the coverage. So I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and then I will come back to show you um, how everything went over it, like on top of the foundation and my final thoughts on the foundation. So I put on the rest of my makeup 
everything went on really nicely on top of the foundation i didn't have any um difficulties with like blending or anything like that everything looks good i am noticing that it is a little bit drying so like i said if you have dry skin probably stay away from it if you have oily skin you're probably gonna like this one um i noticed some drying right here can you guys tell right in this area on my chin and also i have a pimple right here and i have a dry patch and it's definitely um clinging on to that and like emphasizing it so i will try to show you guys without you guys looking at my nose <laughs> you guys can see that it's like a dry patch and it does not look good <laughs> um so yeah stay away from it if you have dry skin everywhere else it looks pretty nice but it is more on the drying side i mean it does state that it's matte but it is definitely matte for sure so um yeah that's the, my only complaint other than that it has great coverage it looks really smooth and seamless on the skin um i'll probably keep using it um uh, maybe just prep i'll try to prep better with a primer that's really like hydrating and moisturizing uh, even this shade kind of looks light right and it's buff i thought it was gonna be did i use the right shade yeah i used buff so i think it does run a little bit on the lighter side essence always has that issue they don't have a nice like variety of shades with whenever they come out with like um complexion products foundations and concealers and stuff like that so they really need to step it up with that i don't know how many this has but it they always always run on the lighter side so light medium is usually what i tend to go for for like any foundations or any complexion products but this light medium would definitely not have fit me because as you can tell buff is like three shades up from light medium they're almost exactly the same this is buff they almost look the same and even buff looks too light for me so just something to keep in mind but if you can find your shade and if you have oily skin um definitely worth a shot trying out because it's only seven dollars you guys so it's super in inexpensive um and for the coverage and like even like the the um packaging of the product for a drugstore foundation and like the price of it this is really good packaging it's a nice glass bottle has a nice pump to it you get the standard amount which is one fluid ounce um one, this one has 1.01 1 .01 fluid ounces actually so for seven dollars like i said give it a try if you have oily skin this might be the foundation for you um the only problem is the uh drying like and clinging onto the dry patches like i said so stay away from it if you have dry skin try it if you have oily skin so i think that's gonna be the end of the video you guys those were my final thoughts my final review on the product I'm going to go return the shade light medium and keep the other one and continue to use it. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys try it and if you guys liked it. Or let me know any other foundations you guys want me to try or any other makeup products you guys want me to try down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!